Good morning. Well, this nine-year-old girl that was raped and almost killed here in Sweden a couple of weeks ago in the town of Skellefteå. She's awake. Right? This is from the prosecutor. The girl is awake. It is not relevant to hear her at the moment and it is uncertain whether it will be possible or appropriate to hear her. We have to make an assessment of what she will remember and tell and weigh it against the burden that an interrogation would be for her. All right. So she's been sedated uh, more than two weeks now, I think. Yeah. I'm very happy that she's alive. She's awake. I'm happy for the family. I'm happy for the girl. Yeah. This story is making me sick. Yeah. I, I just I can just imagine what it's like for the for the family. It's hard to imagine it. Right, and media they are silent more or less about this story. It's pathetic. And uh, I I think I know why. The guy who did it who was suspected of doing it. He really tried to kill her, you see. It was an attempted murder. This guy is from Ethiopia. Very sensitive. Pathetic. And he's supposed to be 13. No, they, they, they think he's older. They think he's 15 at least. And they, try, they will try to determine his age. He came to Sweden uh, in the summer of 2017 with his parents from Ethiopia. Uh, with a younger sister and another boy, yeah. yeah, and according to the police, he is suspected of doing this earlier. Uh, there was a case last summer where he allegedly assaulted a woman in this town. Yeah, and there are others, uh, girls and young women. So then he was 12. You know, last summer. Oh, it's ridiculous. So what, what were you doing when you were 13? Well, I remember what I was doing. I had a crush on this girl in my class. Her name was Annika. Yeah. And I couldn't figure it out. This strong attraction. You know, she was flirting with me. And she was so damn pretty. You know? And I tried to understand what was going on. What's with this attraction that is going on here? I could talk to her. Yeah, yeah, sort of. So, yeah. What can you say? So, I have a question for you politicians. What needs to happen here in Sweden before you start doing something? You're so concerned about your damn careers and your status. You're so worried about what media might say. You know, what needs to happen? That's the thing. You're totally useless, aren't you? Yeah. You're less than useless. I mean, you need more explosions maybe here in Sweden. Yeah. Every week you, there should be a big explosion. Then maybe you will react or um, more criminal gangs, more shootings, you know, more shootings. Uh, every day there should be a shooting. Then maybe you will, you know, start to do something. You're so useless, it's unbelievable. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You shouldn't be anywhere near power. You know. And raping. Uh, Sweden is the rape capital of Europe. This is not enough for you. Oh, it's so important to be tolerant, you know, help these poor people. You know? It's ridiculous. And you know, there is a party here in Sweden. It's just new and it's not yet in the parliament. They promise to do something about this. Yeah. They have a serious plan. They want to send people home. And they are taking a very big beating for this. Oh, yeah. 
from the establishment or from media, these people. Alternative for Sweden, that's the party. Alternative for Sverige in Swedish. Oh, they are such bad people, Nazis, racists, you know. But they keep saying it. Yeah, this is what we need to do. We are going to do it. That's what they say. And it's the biggest, uh, it's the fastest growing party in Sweden, according to themselves. And I believe it. Absolutely. I have no doubts about this. People had enough course and the other part is they are just talking now the thing is I don't trust any of them not even alternative for Sweden you see they get into the Parliament things happen so uh, yeah we need to deal with it ourselves I know that the locals in this town where this girl was almost killed nine year old uh, the locals, they are trying to get to this guy, this Ethiopian guy. And the, the authorities, they are protecting him, you know, from the locals. I hope you will get to him. Yeah. I sincerely hope that you get to him. Yeah. That's right. Enough is enough. Yeah. All right. Be good.